What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm, and of course, you know I am the 2023 men's overall national champion. Now, a lot of people write me. They want to know what grippers they should get. So I'm going to do a video today on the grippers that beginners should buy. Now, if you see advice that I gave years and years ago, I would say go buy the entire Captain's of Crush set and save yourself some money on shipping. I don't necessarily suggest that anymore because a lot of times for beginners, the things, uh, the grippers above the two are completely useless for a very, very long time. So there's no sense in buying the two and a half and above when you're a beginner. If you're gonna buy the two and a half, I guess that's okay, but there's, there's really no need to buy anything above the two and a half, unless you think you're going to stick with this and train for the number three gripper. But before I contradict everything I just said and tell you to buy the whole set of COCs, I'm gonna tell you what you should buy. Now, get a pen and a piece of paper and write this down. I'm gonna give you the ratings of the lowest grippers from the COC set, you're gonna write those numbers down and those are the ratings of grippers you're gonna look for. So if you don't know what I mean by the ratings, like the Captain's Crush grippers are assigned numbers, don't even look at those. Use the ratings that we use in grip sport. Again, over 20 years in grip, multiple time national champion. I know what I'm talking about here. So, go by the ratings on the grippers, not by the ratings from the company that the companies put out, all right? You're doing yourself a disservice if you do that. Go by the ratings. So, a COC trainer is 54 pounds. That's this one. Here I have a number one. It rates 82 pounds. A number, I don't have a one and a half for some reason. Here's a number two, 105, okay? Here's another number two, 114. The, the, the grippers vary a little bit. And here's a two and a half, 125, okay? So now you have some numbers for some of the grippers that are out there, okay? So you know that a trainer's gonna be around 54, 55 pounds. A one, they're gonna vary a little bit, but you know, they're about 82. 105 to 114 for number twos. The two and a half, 125. So now you know where those numbers lie. So if you focus on getting grippers with the same size handles and the same more or less spread between the handles, and you use these numbers for a reference, you'll know what to buy to get grippers that are about in this range. These are what I would consider the beginning, uh, beginner level grippers. The trainer through the number two. Um, so then you just take those numbers as a reference and you can buy grippers that rate more or less in between those and you'll set yourself up with a system of grippers where you can progress very, uh, with very manageable jumps. Anything beyond this, and it's going to be really tough for you to progress and you're going to end up going back and buying even more grippers. So for beginners, it's nice if you have like maybe five grippers and you can work up over time without having to do all kinds of different advanced strategies. You'll just be working on your technique, closing the gripper, and then improving your strength over time. So again, these ratings were trainer 54, 182, the uh, one and a half would be in between there. We're gonna say, you know, 95 to 100 pounds, more or less. The Number twos that I had rated 105 and 114, and then the two and a half was 125. All uh, optimally, as you build your collection, if you can go up in five pound increments, then that's perfect. But it's not always find it's not always easy to find certain level grippers. Like 120 is pretty rare. 160 is pretty rare, but. Uh, with Canon Powerworks, you go to Canon Powerworks and they have the grippers pre-rated. You can buy pre-rated grippers and you can set yourself up for success for months and years down the line by getting grippers that are close to these ratings 
and in between slightly, and you've got a process to step your way up gradually over time. This is how I believe beginners should train. Um, focus on grippers, like I said, with the same size handles and the same uh, size spread between the handles. So Captain's Acrosh, GHP, the standard grippers that uh, Cannon Power Works makes, those are the main ones that I'm thinking of right now. I don't know about, um, I don't know what the Grip Genie gripper sizes are. That information is probably out there. They may work just fine. I don't know. I just don't have any experience with them. Um, if you come across Beef Builders or Tedding grippers that are rated that you find on like eBay or something, those are another excellent choice for you to, um, to select. But I think it's important to have the same size handles in the same spread because then the grippers are going to feel more consistent from one gripper to the next, between one company and the next. Um, heavy grips are a very narrow gripper. Uh, bear bands have a very thick handle. In those variables, when you go to a, a narrow spread or a thicker handle, it changes the way the grippers feel. All right? I don't want to go overboard with information. I hope this is helpful. But use these ratings as a reference system from Canon PowerWorks and you'll be able to set yourself up with a set of grippers that will do just fine for your beginning progressions in your first few months and even year in, in gripper training. Any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you feel that your technique is what is holding you back, that's generally the, the biggest factor with people that are struggling to progress on grippers. For 20 bucks, you can send me a video and I will go over it. I will critique it, assess your technique, and give you pointers on what you can work on to improve your technique. If you're interested in that, hit me with an email at jed.diesel at gmail.com, J-E-D-D -D dot D-I-E-S-E-L at gmail.com, or contact me through my website, dieselcrew.com, or hit me with a message on Instagram or Facebook, whatever you want to do and we can figure all that stuff out, but I've helped people go from missing the one to closing the two and a half just by helping them with their form. You may be very, very strong right now, but if your technique sucks, you're not gonna close the grippers that you want to. All right, that's it. If you liked the video, give it one of these. Be sure to subscribe, share this with other new gripsters that are new to gripper training, and uh, all the best in your training. Take care.